What you're looking at right here, I Googled what companies does Disney own? <laughs> I'm just noticing that this is the ears and this is, yeah, that's Mickey Mouse. But anyway, I Googled that. And they own, under the umbrella of Walt Disney Company, over 200 assets, over 200 different companies. You ain't taking something like that down. I don't care if their theme parks start uh, acting up. I don't care if their movie studios start acting up. It is just too much to take down. And this is what I was trying to explain to you guys about having insurance. You know what I'm saying? Not insurance, like life insurance or something like that, which is, I guess that's important, whatever. What I'm talking about is insurance that once you actually make it out the ghetto, make it out of poverty, you don't end up going back. And when you don't have any assets, you're setting yourself up to go back. Trust me, I know from experience, experience, you can make a crap load of money all you want to. But once that trend is over, if you don't own anything tangible, anything passive, some type of asset that's just going to continuously bring you in money, then you, man, you set yourself up to have to figure it out all over again. And wasn't it hard enough figuring out how to make money the first time? Who want to go through trying to figure it out all over again? Trust me, I have went through it. And it sucks. OK, so. They own over 200 something companies, though. Look at this. They got television and entertainment networks. OK, I did not know they own National Geographic. They own 80 percent of ESPN, like NBC, all of this extra stuff. These are all assets that they own under their umbrella. And then you knew they had to get in the streaming game because of Netflix during a scandemic. Netflix got over like 16 million new users and was killing it, boy. And Disney Plus was like, shoo, woo, we got to jump in that game right there, boy. All right, so they got Disney Plus. They own Stars, uh, Hulu, all of that. Then look at this. Theme parks owned by Disney. Theme parks owned by Disney. All together. Disney owns about 36 theme parks, resorts, cruise lines around the world. Yeah, I understand what I'm talking about. This is how you make your money make money for you. You understand? You get a little bit of money, then you purchase assets that are easily monetized or are already monetized. I'll give you an example. If you go to a website called Flippa, okay? You can look up websites that are already ranking for specific keywords in Google. They're already making a little bit of money. Even if it's only making uh, $50, we'll say $50 a week off of AdSense. It's a strategy and there's a book that you might want to read. It's called Buy Then Build. Instead of like trying to build companies from scratch and stuff and, 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 um, and freaking hope to God that you're successful, you buy something that already has potential or is already proven to be successful. Remember, let all your ways be established, right? So you buy it and then you build on top of that. So Flip It is a website where you can go to and you can purchase assets like apps, websites, and other digital uh, entities that are already making money. Remember what I told y'all before, the best way to make money is to find money that's already moving and to stand in front of it. 